Alright guys, Namaste Ji, how's everybody doing? Welcome to another episode of uh, the Zanska series. You guys remember I had a situation in my car if you watched my previous vlogs. And uh, there's something dead stuck in there. It's I think about the 10th or 11th day and now it's just getting to my head. Last night while sleeping I had dreams of like just dead animals and dead human skulls and like... Uh, I can't deal with this smell anymore man. I can't. It's spoiling my entire trip. All right, guys. All I needed to do was open this panel up, check it out. There you go. Small little mouse, right in the dashboard. Has anything like that ever happened to you, ever? And uh, the meme over told me like these kind of mice don't exist in Zanskar, so it's probably come with us from Lahore, or all the way from Manali, I think. Finally, can now start exploring Zanskar in peace. <laughs> Next village, village Karsha. Here we come, without any stinky smells. Got rid of that awful smell and uh, we drove up maybe about uh, six kilometers from the main town of Padum to a village called Karsha and uh, Karsha village has the largest monastery in Zanskar. You can see only half of it from here. Let's go in. Pretty cool. I don't know what it is. Every time you enter a monastery, your voices go like soft. And you can smell the bottle lamps everywhere. Probably the only old, old monastery that I've been to where they have no signs that say photography is prohibited. The only other time where we were allowed to shoot in a gompa was in Shashur Gompa in Lahore. Yeah. What are we wishing for? Well, two of my really close friends just had babies in the last two weeks. So, for their <laughs> well being and health and happiness. Wow, now this is a beautiful room. This looks like a set out of, uh, what's it, Martin Scorsese's film, Gwindon. Oh man, it's just so colorful, dude. So colorful. So this Gompa is clearly like a very, very well-maintained Gompa. And even though there are a lot of really old artifacts and you can feel that you are in a thousand year old place over here. But at the same time, they have done the touch-ups and everything to make everything bright and beautiful. But uh, if you look close enough, you will find the signs of age and that's what makes it so beautiful. So we are at the only petrol pump in Padum. But check it out. It's hand crank. Old school. Yeah, those are yeah. I don't really need diesel in my car. I already have a ton of it, but I just wanted to show you. I thought it's an interesting thing. Pretty cool, huh? Let's head to Zangla Valley now. All 
Alright guys, so here we are in uh, Zangla and uh, Zangla Palace is uh, right up there. Not a soul to be found here. We have this entire palace to ourselves. Oh guys, check this out. See Bakthorn. <laughs> I saw kids eating pho. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> is it bitter? <laughs> it's bitter. But I did see kids eating this. Uh, just to clarify guys, uh, and I, I know I kept saying palace palace, but uh, it's actually ruins of a palace. Is there a way in? I didn't see a door anywhere. I don't think you're supposed to enter this, yeah? Is there an entrance? Where? Right here. Oh, there. Why do we always end up taking the tricky road, like... When in doubt, use your bum. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this won't fall on us, no? Just because of our voice vibrations. <laughs> That's a stretch, but it just might. Welcome into the abyss. You see anything? What is this side? Show me this side. There's nothing here. Dead ends. Dead ends everywhere. <laughs> That's it. So many places like this are just not maintained and yeah. I really thought there would be like labyrinths of rooms in here but unfortunately not and uh, quite disappointed actually well at least we've got nice views you can never get enough of that Zangla palace right in front of your eyes guys okay now even I'm feeling it huh? I just keep feeling like somebody comes out of the balcony looks at us and goes back in <laughs> Holy shit, now I'm scared of uh, <laughs> Don't scare me, man. I don't know why we were walking up also I felt somebody was standing in the balcony looking at us and I'm like, no, no chance, maybe it's just the shadow and all. It's so funny, you're scared of like paranormal things and I'm more scared of like slipping down the mountain to my death, which is yeah, more, that I don't care more likely to happen. I'm just scared of the unknown. <laughs> Good morning guys, a uh, beautiful morning out here in Padum, the light is absolutely stunning and uh, we are on our way to a village called Rangdum which is uh, going to be the last leg of our journey in Zanskar. It is about 6 hours from here from Padum. You can imagine man the size of Zanskar. I mean uh, we drove all the way from Shinkola, it took us 6 hours, another 6 hours to this other valley and there are so many other different valleys you know just hidden in these uh, big mountains. Uh, it's going to be our last night over there and that is the end of Zanskar. After that is uh, Kargil district and uh, we're going to end our journey within Zanskar. So just about 7-8 kilometers from uh, main town of Padum and you reach this village called Sunny where uh, you find this beautiful freshwater lake with a statue of uh, the great Padmasambhav himself looking onto the lake. I wasn't really expecting uh, tiny little lakes around over here but look at this place I mean especially right now in the morning when the light is just right and the greens just popping and the water is so damn clear you can see all the way through it's amazing did not expect this will it sunny Alright guys, so I am on a pass called uh, Pensila Pass right now which is halfway with, between uh, Padum and Kargil. Um, something really really cool is right in front of my eyes. This definitely requires a countdown in 3, 2, 1.
Pretty cool guys. What do you think? My jaw was left open the moment I saw this place. So this glacier is called uh, Drang Drung Glacier. Uh, it sounds as if somebody is falling or something is falling. <laughs> drung 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 Drung. <laughs> and it's uh, on top of Pensila Pass. Uh, I've never really seen a glacier up this close, you know. I've seen hanging glaciers. Uh, you have seen glaciers from far off, but not like this in a valley. Like beautiful, this S shape. Oh man, it's a sight to see. I wonder how it would look, you know, early May, June, July, when it's fresh snowfall on it. But guys, this is one sight to behold, huh? It's crazy, crazy. This drive is mind blowing. Alright guys, so here we are, just made it to uh, Rangdum and behind me is the Rangdum Monastery. The monastery is beautiful from the outside but uh, I think I will have to say Rangdum tops it all man. This is one hell of a spot. The mountains over here are just doing something else completely. I mean, there's so many different shades of brown. There's so many different layers of rocks, so many different kinds of rocks. What is this place, man? They don't show you this on Google Earth. <laughs> All these places are so damn windy. And uh, this monastery like has a nice courtyard inside, very strategically built for no wind conditions in a very high windy condition area. Oh man. Okay, I think out of all the monasteries that we've seen, the other ones were really, uh, I mean, uh, what do you say? They, re they were refurbished, they were vibrant, they were really opulent. This has a feeling of rawness. No makeup. This is a different kind of grand. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh wow, what's that? That's a huge statue. Come, come, come. Monasteries make me feel like I'm Indiana Jones. Look at these statues, guys. Ooh, check these out. I've only seen these in uh, the murals on the wall. This Kal Chakra, this specific one. I've never seen a uh, statue of it before. Guys, I don't say this every day, but this is a must visit place. It's really, really pretty. So raw. It's like all original. I guess this is the final monastery that we'll be going to in Zanskar. <laughs> All the monasteries have been amazing. You guys have to visit Zanskar, guys. It's a whole different trip. Guys, rang dum, rang dum, rang dum. And a cup of sleepy all. What more could you ask for? Okay, let's start. This trip made me feel young again, man. You know, you know, when I was 24, 25, just getting into filmmaking, I remember the fire in my ass that time, you know. And uh, this trip has kind of got that fire back. Like, I kind of remember why I started this in the first place. And that was the whole reason I, Bhati and I came back to Manali and started this company. Like, you know, because we wanted to do it on our own terms. Like, you know, Bhati and I love to film just the way it is, you know. We see something, film it. And then we make a story out of it. And the whole process of filmmaking is what we loved. For me, now as I grow older and 
filmmaking is changing for me like i'm in in my own way like you know there are certain obviously there's films there's movies there's documentaries there's now this new age of vlogs which i absolutely love and now we're trying to find this balance in between you know and at the same time keeping it very enjoyable for us that's why they say make your passion into your jobs right and that's what we're doing here that's what we're really trying to do here even i haven't figured it out like we haven't figured this out trust me we're just learning on the go and i want to support people who are doing it by themselves like you know by doing it all by themselves because we are trying we because we are on the same boat and that's why these guys i'm so glad these guys are with us on this firstly the product is great all right the product is brilliant secondly it's like three guys who had like proper jobs they were really high paying jobs similar to us you know we had pretty good jobs back in bombay we were making nice money and i could see us going like you know far and wide when it came to the mainstream similarly with these guys like you know they they quit everything and they said why not just start a coffee company that's what we passion, passionate passionate about you know why i'm em emphasizing so much on this is because you can do it by yourself today maybe 5 years back i would have said completely something else i would i would be you know uh, making different kinds of travel shows for tv or for thing internet to internet sab kuch hai internet mein you can learn what you want you have to go out there and make it happen i want to take you guys with me on like crazy travels you know all around the world not just here not just in india we love the mountains for sure but we love exploring all kinds of places and hopefully if everything works out man if everything works out yeah we'll go all around the world that's that's the dream that's the dream